Hey everybody, this is Day Trader Rockstar, and this is the uh, this is a market update going into Friday uh, jobs report. It is NQ kind of, Tradeometer yeah. oversold. Just heard that. That might have blown your ears out a bit. Apologize for that, but we'll fix that. So it's going to be uh, April first tomorrow. April first, first Friday of the month brings us the uh, non-farm payrolls, the unemployment rate, everything else. Market has been extremely strong. You could feel it uh, a couple days ago. I started seeing some uh, signs of a, a pullback, and we started to break down off of this this channel. But we actually it was the day of Janet Yellen's uh, Fed meeting, and that actually spurred the market to pop here. We actually started to break down, and then about two o'clock we had the Janet Yellen um, dovish remarks about the market, and that's what happened from that point on. We have another event upon us tomorrow: the jobs report. Now a lot of people, the ADP job report came in with two hundred thousand jobs. Uh, I think people are looking at that, you know, looking at something not nothing to really rock the market either way, but more of a positive report. Things are going well, but I still think there's an opportunity to sell into this report. And the reason I want to say that, and I, it's very hard to call a top in this market. It's very strong. A lot of people are looking at maybe the 280, 270 area, but I want to concentrate on this uh, this jobs report because um, recently on the, on the Janet Yellen, uh, we kind of popped and took out the highs here. You can see how we just took out the recent highs with this candle and the follow-through candle. And today we're actually down a little. But you can see the momentum here didn't get back into above that, really that 80 line, that green line. And we're starting to see the signs of momentum here starting maybe possibly shifting or getting a little bit weaker. And that's what that's what usually um, gives us that perfect divergence. And that is a divergence in itself. It doesn't give us a perfect one. It could be a perfect one. And we really need to confirm that by crossing back down here. Now I um, sometimes I let me see if I could put that other line in here and make it so we could see what it looks like and you could see we made it red here. It hasn't crossed back down. It hasn't really. Why am tradeometer oversold? And that's the uh, we're going to talk more about that a bot that's running in the background there. Uh, but you can see the potential here. The potential. Yeah, tradeometer oversold. The potential for a uh, divergence play, and if we actually get a pop tomorrow pop into the jobs report for whatever reason we got pop a little bit higher you know there's a good shot that we actually don't get a back up there and this continues to kind of roll over and that would be a fantastic signal and I'm kind of leaning towards that so I went on the, on the air when I was on the air today I was talking about you know between Friday and Monday not between it but either Friday uh, or Monday we're gonna start to see a downtrend develop it doesn't have to be a long downtrend but you know the market has been extremely strong and everything that you could look back at this market is very rare to see any um, oh I hear something going on here hold on just a second sorry that was the the phone there so um, just getting back to it so this is how we ended off um, and actually yesterday we actually had a fantastic uh, divergence sell signal here five minute divergence sell signal that's pulled back and then you can see today we've just been grinding and you can see the five minute how we ended up on the five minute today is actually a little extended we take a look at that 60 minute time frame it started turning over we're almost oversold like I said there's an opportunity here for a pop um, a good report would pop us out but there's still that opportunity for this to kind of sell off if we take a closer look at it, you can see this long rising channel here and these channels you know have a tendency to break down push back up retest and start that thing but we haven't seen it yet and it's a very hard call but I'm gonna make that call for Friday Monday uh, combination if if we confirm that divergence now that divergence is possibly happening here could be a very big big uh, you know trading opportunity in the markets we've made a nice move off the lows and uh, we, you know we're overdue for a pullback and that's uh, what we're gonna be looking at tomorrow tomorrow's a jobs report so early morning we're probably going to see how this is going to play out is this going to turn back over is it the spike on the news going to just push us higher and then confirm that divergence by seeing the momentum here shift back it's one thing I'll be watching um, other than that we're going to be doing what we're doing we're crushing it with the stocks and the options um, today we tested we traded Tesla uh, we had a nice pop on Tesla I mean I'll talk about a great trade we got in it um, somewhere around here we rode it all the way off got out figured that there was gonna be some sell the news people in it uh, the events gonna be starting tonight about 1130 I think it's 830 Pacific time so I'm gonna actually try to uh, 
uh, stream that live on Day Trading Radio. So if you happen to get this before that, around 11.30, check check uh, daytradingradio.com, and I'll try to get that presentation. Tesla will be bringing out their Model 3. And then uh, we've been taking profits and just doing a lot of good stuff here uh, at Day Trading Radio. I'm going to kind of go back. Let's take a look here. If I can bring up the, the dashboard here for a second. This is our dashboard for the members, and we've added on the, um, what you hear, the Rambot. You might have heard about the Rambot. We use this this bot that really, really works well in the market. We've just um, added this to the dashboard. Now, the dashboard is a member's dashboard. We have all the trade alerts, all the news. We have our, um, our audio f features. We have the squawk. We have our news feed, of course, the music channel. And then you have all your alerts here, the news alerts, the bots, um, the HPS setups which if they trigger you go automatically you know the, the carnival cruise line hit its target uh, dunkin donuts hit its target i mean these are just setups that go out each week another watch list will be going out tomorrow and i'll be having whole all new setups on it but i wanted to really just point out and show you this um rambot um down here and then we have it all set up now for buys and sell si signals you could actually put it on the one minute five minute combination you could or none of them Five minutes, awesome. Five minute buys and sells. And you see me um, usually when I'm on the show broadcasting this. I usually mark the uh, I mark the levels off with circles and squares. And now that we have it all officially running, and you have the audio alerts too, we have audio alerts on this. Um, we're probably going to just leave it on the dashboard for the members. I won't be discussing it as much because the setups are really key and they're really great. So uh, you know, take advantage of that on the dashboard. And of course, anything else, um, the HPS watch list has been just crushing it. I've been keeping the um, all the setups over for the last, for how long? I don't you know, for the last couple months. Um, and you can see, there's been a couple stop outs, and these, some of these stop outs are just, you know, they're kind of bogus stop outs too. I mean, it's a fish, you know, it just gets, it's an automated system. So when our targets hit, and if something moves down and hit, hits, a, hits a thing but moves back up, then... You know, it depends. You might not get out of Let's see how this one pushed down. Just tag that stop there. Really, it didn't really hit. I'm still holding it. It really didn't really hit the stop. It hit it by a penny. It automatically triggered that stop. I would consider this still really active, and I feel that we're going to actually get up to that 140 area. We're banging the table on that. So, again, and these are previous trades, so all these trades are all for you if you want to go back and look at them. Um, you know, and the why we're getting into the video that goes along with each one of those but uh, most of it like that Disney here even though it says stopped out that was actually a very good trade sell gene the same thing you know we have some that are active right now uh, but pretty much just hitting it out of the park all these are HPS type of setups HPS is a combination of five indicators that we follow on day trading radio uh, it's a methodology I've been teaching for 10 years and uh, practicing for well it's always evolving for the last 20 years and has taken a combination of certain indicators, uh, pattern recognition, momentum indicators, and putting it all together and only taking a trade when everything lines up together. And we usually mark those things off, um, and then I send out the alerts. So when I send out those alerts and we have that, you can see the reactions are usually fast and, and furious. In this case, we actually popped right up here, took out our profits. That was on, uh, which one was this one? This is Pfizer. And you can actually see Pfizer here pulled back down here. Pfizer is actually looking pretty good for another re-entry. Uh, we took profits into that. And, you know, it's just that's the way what we're doing. So um, might as well give you a little information for tomorrow. We're going to be, uh, I'll be focused on, of course, Tesla. It would be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, and then if we take a look at uh, some new stocks, well, not even new stocks. We are liking some stocks, the Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, take a look at some of these daily charts we have this nice downward channel we're testing it multiple you know continue to test it we're actually starting to see this little divergence play out so I'm looking for a big large range candle breakout on this Bed Bath & Beyond on that Kohl's also a nice flag here the flags have been working out great this is oversold I mean it's just quality setup almost a divergence there too so Kohl's acting pretty good and I also think the Gilead and the drugs are setting up um, you can start, start to see this nice higher lows 
and they've they've been they've been stuck in the mud. You know, the t- truth is, the drugs have been stuck in the mud. The political process has been p- taking a toll on these. Um, but there is uh, there's still some good goodness to be had here. Biogen is one of those. We're starting to break out of a bigger pattern. A lot of the patterns you'll see is a channel within a channel. It's an HPS setup. And, you know, based on the stochastics and everything else, we start to recognize when that's going to break out and we start to see this move out now. So those are all discussed on the show. And again, tomorrow is going to be a Friday, so I'll be uh, putting out a brand new watch list for the members. Um, Let's see if I can think of anything else while I got you. Um, it's about what, how far is this video? It's about a 10 minute video. I don't want to do this video too much because we got a lot of work to do tomorrow. So again, see you on the uh, I'll see you on the show daytrainingradio.com we'll broadcast live. It was about 8:30, 9 o'clock. We get on the air. We take it all the way to the close. And as you can see, it's about 8 o'clock tonight on a Thursday night. I'm getting out some videos. And later tonight, I'll be having the futures up. The futures right now. <clears throat> Take a look at it. Oh, oh, come on. Not that. Let me see what my futures are. Hmm. I think I, I think I closed them down. All right, here we are. Futures are at the lows of the session. Close it was around 52 and a quarter. It's about 50 and a quarter, so it's about two points lower right now. That means nothing. You know, around 4 o'clock, 3 or 4 o'clock, this market could just turn around and just shoot up 20, 30 points. But, um, you know, everyone's waiting on this jobs report. What happens if we start off down tomorrow about 20 points lower on the S&P? Tell you the truth, I'd be a very happy person because I kind of loaded up on some puts going into this week. And and uh, they're working against me right now. But they're more of a hedge because I was hedged out long. So everything actually working out fine to the long side. But, I, you know, if I didn't have those hedges on i would be just crushing it to the upside with those hedges um you know it's kind of flattening things out a bit still positive but um if we do pull back here then i'm talking about um you know we have a nice pullback tomorrow then we're really going to be raking it in and i'd also consider um you know tomorrow as a another opportunity maybe to take some hedges into next week i do think that friday monday trade is is uh, about to hit us and it might start tonight, you know. If I wake up tomorrow morning, Friday, and all of a sudden I see the futures are down 30, well, I, I'll be a happy person <laughs> for, a, for a short term until I take those, uh, take those puts off, and then uh, we go back to work. So we take it from both sides. All right. All right, so I'll catch you in the market. It's a day trader rock star. I'll talk to you tomorrow.